Welcome all my zodiac signs into this all zodiac signs reading. It is for Monday and Tuesday, the 23rd and the 24th of October. So let us get started by calling in your spirit guides and get into the messages that you need to hear at this time. Spirit guides for all the zodiacs who have joined me here today. Please come into my spirit room and guide me in this reading. Show me clearly what it is that I need to see and speak to me clearly what it is I need to hear. For the highest good for everybody who is watching, remember to also check out your rising sign, which can be related to something you're trying to create, a problem you're trying to solve, or even um, a situation happening around you. And then do also check out your moon sign if you're dealing with anything that is emotional in nature, emotional inside of you, um, maybe how you're feeling about something, if you're feeling anxious about something or worried about something, which can also be an emotion as well. You can check your moon sign. And then also check out your Venus, if you're dealing with a situation with another person okay otherwise there are timestamps below in the description box where you can go straight into your reading check out your sun sign as well which is a general energy let us begin with the amazing sign of aries aries how are you doing welcome into this reading a card has flipped over okay and i've saw it so i'm going to take it it is called medicine guardian so the medicine guardian energy says be open to healing information so there could be something here that you're holding on to. There could be something that um, has hurt you here in some kind of way. There could be a shift coming in here for you with regards to a pain that you're carrying or even a memory that you have with regards to something that happened. Um, somebody could come in here and clear something up for you as well that makes you feel relieved. This can also be information that comes in that helps you to let go of something that was painful it all depends on what's going to come up in the tarot cards so let's begin and look and see what's going on in your energy it's good when we see kind of like medicine guardian healing taking place because you must know something the moment that something needs to be healed or released it means that your energy needs to be cleared at this moment in time your energy is needing to be cleared because something is coming in and you cannot be carrying the old baggage the old pain the old hurt from what comes before into something new that's why this kind of thing would come in but let's find out more information we've got the hangman a wait is over for something here this can be anything that you're waiting for. Why I'm saying the wait is over because I saw this pop up in the reverse position. And my cards are in the upright position. So this one sneaked in reversed. The reverse position hangman in your energy shows that there has been something that either you're holding back from or you've been waiting for a very long time to see something happen. When it shows up like it did now, the wait is over. Okay. Let's see what else will come in here. Six of Cups, this could have to do with something from the past. I mean, this is going there, okay? The Six of Cups can be tied to your memories about the past, your childhood memories, um, a person from the past, or even a situation that you were in. It can also be attached to children as well. Um, with regards to something happening with your children. I feel like the information you're receiving is tied to something like this. It could be you've been waiting to hear from somebody for a very long time and they finally get back to you. They finally come and speak to you. It could be <clears throat> events that have taken place in the past year where you feel like you need to let go of certain things or you feel like you need to understand more about why something happened and so you can move forward. Children as well, okay. So let's see what comes up as your advice. The Nine of Cups Spirit Guide letting you know, get ready to celebrate. Look how he's toasting. Get ready to celebrate something that's going to make you very happy. The Nine of Cups is a card of ultimate satisfaction. Okay, it means to be happy in the world that you are living in. And to, to be, sometimes it can mean that you're alone, um, but you're so happy in the life that you're creating. It can mean that you are being appreciated by those around you. For your efforts that you have made, you're being appreciated is a very good sign. But at the end of the day, this is you moving into a place where you are happy. And I felt like there could be a clearing happening in your energy here. 
there could be clearing happening to you where you're going to be letting go of maybe pain or maybe something's going to get sorted out for you and then you can move forward into an energy where you don't need healing okay so let's have a look and see finally here it is <laughs> there we go Aries finally here it is finally there's something here that you have definitely been waiting for and um, that so seems to fall into place here for you it's you getting the job it's you being in the relationship that you want to be in and it's going well for you it is you um <clears throat> achieving this life that you want to achieve whatever this is for you it seems to be connected to the past or it seems to be connected to your children and how you can raise them and what you can give to them you know and it's you finally finally getting yourself into a place where you ultimately get exactly what it is you're looking for this is very good energy Aries thank you so much for being here I hope this really helps you and guides you um, in the week to come and um, letting you know that energies are going to be released so that you can actually move forward to happiness now thank you Aries for being here I will see you guys in your next long form reading or I will see you in the next all signs reading thank you so much so let's get into this for taurus taurus how are you doing i'm shuffling cards but i haven't yet put this back yet so let's put them back in for you taurus this is for monday and tuesday which is the 23rd and the 24th of Nove november deborah october okay and we are looking at the energies of these two days and what we need to know at this time so let's get in here and find out what will come up for you <coughs> Let's have a look and see. We have got Magic Guardian. Okay. Unlock the magic within you. Hmm. The Magic Guardian usually comes up. It's a, it's almost like an energy of what obviously I would love being the magic energy. But it also means that something unusual might take place here. Um, something strange or different may happen. Or you might even have some kind of ability inside of you, Taurus. You may be empathic or psychic or or you're having prophetic dreams or you're getting vibes you know you're seeing some, something at the corner of your eye here that you're not seeing it can be anything coming up here it can also be some kind of like like something about you that you don't yet know yet that's going to be revealed to you and it's going to seem quite amazing okay two cards have fallen down so i'm going to go with what this is I can tell you one thing from what I'm seeing here because we've got a four of wands in your energy and then we have a five of swords with regards to your situation and what I'm picking up immediately is let me tell you something you're so strong you're stronger than whatever you what you think you you are I have really got a feeling like either you have already or you are in the process of doing this solving something that was very big in your life to solve and I feel like this is part of the ability that gets unlocked inside of you. It's almost like uh, you're solving something that other people don't get to fix. You know what I mean? And there's a celebration coming in here, a new beginning for you because you walk through this kind of fire. You face problems that other people maybe don't even get in their lifetime. And you fix it. You fix it. You fix this one thing at a time. And I think the magic within you is you having to fix this, having to face whatever this is, and it was the problems that unlocked the magic inside of you. Because yeah, all of a sudden we got this brand new beginning for you coming in, which is one to be celebrated. And I don't think you were going to get this four of wands if you didn't go through the five of swords. So something has unlocked inside of you because of difficulties that you faced. And the fact that you fixed those difficulties, okay. So let's get advice out here. Your hard work is going to pay off. Oh, this is very good work. <laughs> all, the, all that you've done, all that you've been through, Taurus, all that you have experienced and faced and had to do and had to deal with and live through, basically. It's a big burden that you had to carry here, but you are going to get paid off. It's like you're, getting the, you're going to get the payout for all of this. It's coming around your way. So let's, excuse me, I've got a hiccup. Coming around your way. Yes, you are. <laughs> you literally are. Whatever this is, this is the universe responding to you. It's like you've been putting in so much effort. You've been pushing, putting in so much of yourself. You had to face things that were unfaceable, but you faced it anyway. You unlocked the strength inside of you. And now the universe is about to respond to you or even responding to you now. The Six of Pentacles talks about fair give and take. It talks about getting what you deserve. It talks about 
the universe and life in general just doing what it's meant to do towards you and i really really feel like it's because you went through a lot here you handled a lot here and because of this energy you have now shifted out of it into a new cycle where the universe finally begins to respond to you the way you want it to there's financial great gain here there's also long-term stability okay if this is a person it's a person doing what they're supposed to do okay fair giving and taking between two people this is a very good energy taurus i absolutely love your reading thank you so much for being here i will see you in your next long form reading or in your next all signs reading thank you so much let's get into this for my um gemini gemini how are you doing welcome into monday and tuesday how does monday feel to you today are you ready for the week let's find out What's going on with my Geminis with regards to Monday and Tuesday's energy? Are you ready? So many cards are flipping. What's going on here? I really thought one was going to flip and show itself to me, but it didn't. So interesting vibe. Let's see what will come up. False start, maybe. Uh, wanting to start something. It didn't get going the way that it wanted to. Let's see what will come up in the tarot. Let's see what will come up in the oracle as well. Okay, we've got stag. <laughs> Trust and thrive. Trust and thrive. This is a very good energy. There could be something here that you thought when it was good. Like that card. I saw two cards wanting to flip, but they just slipped back in their right position again. It's almost like, when is it going to be my break? When is it going to be the time for me to go forward? When am I going to start thriving? And every time you think, oh, this is it, this is it. And maybe it's not it. Okay. So let's get in here and have a look and see. In your energy, what do we got going on here? A new beginning, a card has fallen. This one I actually saw. So we've got two cards that have fallen. Oh my, we've got a hermit card. Yeah, there's been a bit of a stale, stagnant energy over there. It's like you have been um, waiting for something to happen here. The, here's your page of, of uh, your, your queen of wands. Okay, so your queen of wands comes in with Virgo's energy with the hermit. The hermit is in your energy. It's in your place. This card falls in your energy. So it shows that this wanting to thrive energy, it's no movement is happening there. And then the queen of wands, which comes up as a situation, the queen of wands is always very confident, has got big dreams, big ideas, also very bold and always going for what she wants. So she wants to move quickly. She wants things to happen now you know what i mean and she wants to not hold back ever it's interesting that it's coming up with the opposite kind of energy of the hermit showing that there's something here that you wanted to happen and you've got this burning fire inside of you wanting to create this but it's almost like life around you for some reason is not responding to you the way that you want to so this could be why it's saying trust and thrive maybe you've got a timing situation here okay so let me just cut my deck Sometimes when things don't happen the way when they're meant to happen, you're like, why didn't it happen? Um, it doesn't mean it's not going to happen. Perhaps there's a moment it's supposed to happen in. Okay, so we've got justice coming in. Yeah, yes, there is a moment it's supposed to happen in. You've got Libra in your reading. Yes, these are major arcana showing up here for you as well. So waiting right now for something to happen is what you're meant to be doing. I feel like the hermit energy is saying, please be patient. Wait for the justice to come in. If there is something legal going on with you, this is very good reading. I feel like you will totally win whatever this is. And <clears throat> the justice card is almost like a timing card as well. It talks about when certain things are meant to happen, when certain things are meant to be let go of, and when certain things are meant to be starting. So yes, there is a moment where a shift is going to take place for you. <coughs> Excuse me. And the outcome, it couldn't be better. We've got the Empress, you sitting pretty, you exactly where you want to be. Not so like in this barren environment now. It's like you're sitting under this tree, the tree's not growing, it's very dark here. And now you've moved your life into a place where you're inside, you're in your rocking chair, you're comfortable, you're contented. She's even having a baby there, meaning she's... You know, when you're pregnant, you're so happy that you're having a baby. You're so in love with everything. You're so caring. It's like you're nurturing yourself there in this energy where you are going. It's a place where you're going to be very satisfied with where, where your life is. Almost like a self-caring energy that comes in here. This energy of you being able to finally do things that are meant to be done for you. It's almost like now it's your time. Now it's your time to take care of you, Gemini. It's your time to put yourself first. And you've been doing it for everybody else. Maybe things haven't been going the way you wanted it to go. And it's finally your time for you. 
I love this reading. Thank you so much, Jim and I, for being here. I hope that really helps you. Please be patient with, what, with regards to whatever this is. There is a moment here, a moment when these events are going to take place. You must just be in the hermit energy, trusting knowing that it is coming towards you there we go gemini thank you so much for being here i will see you guys <coughs> with my scratchy chest in your next uh daily reading or or zodiac sign reading or your long form content reading as well i will see you guys then let's get into this for my cancer cancer how are you doing welcome into your monday and tuesday 23rd to the 24th reading let's find out for you cancer what we need to know so let's get in here and have a look and see <clears throat> you have a guardian angel and you are not alone there could be help coming in with regards to some situation or you could be being protected at this time okay whatever's going on here it's either like some an event's going to take place where um it's almost like the like was that a miracle? <laughs> like, is that my guardian angel helping me out here? Yes, it is. Um, it can also be um, a problem that you may be currently happy having and you're worried, like, is everything going to be okay? They're saying you're not alone and they're literally helping and guiding you at this time. So let's see what's going on here. <clears throat> Sorry, my chest is going a bit weird. So with regards to the Empress energy coming in here, this is in your energy. You need to be feeling or you feel as if you could be, you need this. I'm picking up this energy of I need this Empress energy. I need to be, it's, I'm hearing, it's so interesting because I'm hearing you, you, it's almost like I'm hearing you saying I need to be nurtured and I need to be taken care of and I need somebody who, or I need people around me who actually care, who actually care about how I am doing. And they're just really letting you know that you actually are not alone we are around you and we do care about how you're doing. We do care about you. We love you and we are here. So this is your main priority coming up here, you and how you're doing. So let's see what else comes up here. <clears throat> There's a change in something here. There could have been an ending that took place here with a judgment card, which could be making you feel pretty much alone in the world at this moment. And you're feeling very isolated, very alone, um, almost like, Somebody went against you or people went against you and they kind of like left you alone. Um, the judgment card is never negative though. That's the thing. The judgment card, the justice card, these are judgments. These are calls to a new life. And when that happens, you're being called to step up and step into a new beginning. So <clears throat> let's have a look and see. Ooh, we? We've got three of pentacles as advice from spirit guide to you. The advice coming in is that whatever is going on in your world, please know that you are moving to stability. Please know that you are moving to a place where finances are going to be in great form. Okay. Long term as well. Um, career is also going to be something where you feel safe in. And there's some kind of stability coming in here for you. Uh, for somebody out there, you will buy a house. If you're feeling that energy, like I wish to buy this house, you're going to buy that house. Okay. That's there. And for somebody else out there, there could be possibly, um, you going independent here. You could be going independent. And I think if you go independent, you might like independent, meaning almost like stepping out on your own, maybe starting your own business. Um, so maybe you've stepped out on your own already in some kind of way, but this is going to be very good for you. There's a lot of growth happening here, okay? Your outcome, <clears throat> it is you being happy. This is your outcome. You will be fine. You are going to be in a place where you are your number one priority. Maybe where other people will also prioritize you. I like the way these two cards come up. <clears throat> Excuse me. I like the way the Empress sits here and I felt like you're alone in this energy and it's almost like you're not getting supported and you're on your own. And when I put these two cards together, it's like somebody else has now joined this picture here. Do you see that? And this person is toasting you, you know, so it shows almost like in the world that you're going to be moving into. There's going to be people out there who now appreciate who you are and you won't be alone. Maybe if you're single, it's showing that you're going to be with somebody here and you're going to be very happy with this person because of the Empress with the Nine of Cups together. This can also be you being very happy in the life that you are even creating with those Nine Cups there. Very proud and very satisfied of everything that you have done and are doing. 
This is a beautiful reading, okay? There we go, Cancer. Congratulations. I'm very happy for you. Let me get into this for my Leos. Leo, how are you doing? <coughs> excuse me this is for monday and tuesday the 23rd to the 24th of october so let's find out for you on monday what is it that you need to know at this time for monday the 23rd and the 24th of october for my leo spirit guide show me what i need to see i wonder what card pops up for you today let's have a look and see for leo sun moon rising and venus You've got the warrior coming up. I'm not kind of surprised to see this in your energy. Be fearless and stand strong, okay? I'm Leo <laughs> with your energy coming in here with the strength card showing up as your energy anyway. This kind of does remind me of your energy. And <clears throat> it kind of makes me go, um, you could have been fearless and standing strong already, standing through problems, facing things that you need to deal with, and I feel like you you may be feeling also a bit tired for some of these energies. But at the same time, I feel like you still got that great strength inside of you. It literally shows up as your kind of energy. I feel like this could be like a Leo vibe. You know, the warrior with the strength card being you in the original tarot. It's almost like you're going, yes, I'm strong. I'm facing a lot of problems. I've got a lot of things I need to deal with in my life. But I'm not giving up. I'm stubborn. I'm remaining. Leo, you are pretty stubborn. I'm not going to give up. I'm stubborn and I'm going to handle this. You know what I mean? very nice energy let's see what comes up in the tarot because of this you're having a new beginning something is coming in here that you're going to celebrate and this is good this is very good there's a celebration coming in here a new beginning you could have had a new beginning by the way you could have left something behind you and face the future maybe alone face the future unknown you know and you're heading towards something new here one way or the other it's either coming in or it's already happened and it's almost like i don't know what you did there but it was the right thing <laughs> whatever happened in that full card there you absolutely did the right thing because of the four of wands being here moving into a new cycle from the full card to into a new cycle something that you'll be happy about something that you will be celebrating <laughs> We got your inner child rocking up here and children or something from the past. Okay, so the Six of Cups usually comes in. It talks about, um, it, it, I'm hearing good times as well. I'm hearing good times coming back. It's Spirit Guides going, it's like the good times are back. The good times are back. And it's like if you have children, it's like being happy with children here. I'm celebrating your life and enjoying your time together it feels very safe as well to me this can also be you you and your own energy your own inner child your own person you need to take care of and i feel like it's really nurturing energy coming in here with all of this beautiful energy this is where you're going wow your outcome no I, i'm not even joking with you guys the strength card the outcome is this it's, i mentioned this from the very beginning of the reading, I was just saying this card reminds me of the strength card over and over again. And Spirit Guide is going, yes, it does, because it is <laughs> the strength card. And this is the outcome. You will become and you are becoming the strongest person, you will, the strongest version of who you can possibly be. Whatever faces you <clears throat> in this life, you will always be able to handle it. No matter what it is, you have the warrior inside of you. And this warrior is what? Very strong. And you are moving yourself and your life to a place where you are very happy and you're in a good energy. And no matter how difficult things get, I feel like you will be able to handle everything. Every problem you face. You're such a strong human being. I can't believe this card came out. I mentioned this card like I don't know how many times in this reading. And here it is. And I had a funny feeling. I said it may rock up. But it's also surprising me. You are the person you are meant to be. Everything that you have done. Things that have changed. Choices you have made. It's not wrong. You are going to who you are meant to be. Which is a person who knows how to take care of themselves. And all the ones that they love around them. Beautiful energy. I love it so much. Congratulations, Leo. That was the best reading for you ever. <laughs> Thank you so much for being here. I will see you guys in your next long form content or in your next all signs reading as well. 
I'm sending my love to you, my strong Leos. <laughs> there we go. Virgo, how are you doing? <clears throat> Welcome into Monday and Tuesday, which is going to be the 23rd to the 24th of October. Your card has flown right out of the deck. So let's find out what this is. Oh, hello. Why does this always come up for Virgo? Choices, choices, choices. What are you going to do? Direction, guardian. Choose your path. I've been picking this up in your guys' readings like there's a choice that you need to make. You stay or you go. Um, you change direction. And it's almost like when? When do I do this? Do I now stay? Do I now go? Am I on the right path? It almost feels like evaluation, like you're evaluating your life, like a seven of cups or seven of pentacles energy where you literally are looking at different ways of doing things. Okay. So in your energy, a card did fall, and it is the five of wands rocking up here. This is problems that are needing to be solved, a lot that you're dealing with here. The five of wands can be disagreements between people, or you're trying to fix things, you know what I mean? But it's a lot. It's a lot. You might even be looking at this five of wands and going, wow, do I keep doing this, or do I walk away? You know what I mean? <clears throat> So, okay, another card has fallen as well. King of Wands, energy rocking up there is a situation. Okay. Your Spirit Guide advice, Three of Wands. Mm. Oh, boy. I... I feel like this is your energy. I feel like this King of Wands is your energy. I feel like you're on fire. <laughs> I feel like... The fire burns inside of you. Nothing can put it out. Absolutely nothing can put you put it out. I feel like you you are working your way diligently to success. But there seems to be it's like this these problems are blocking you from getting to where you want to be. So you're like, okay, I'm going in this direction, but there seems to be so much like like problems that I have. And it keeps Instead of me working on being the king of wands in my life, I keep dealing with problems, which is, at the end of the day, what do you think the, the king of wands or any king or queen or emperor is dealing with? When you get to a certain level in your life and you begin to level your life up, these things become a lot more, okay, you're going to be out there a lot dealing with one thing after the other. And I don't feel like that should stop you from moving forward because... I do think a change is coming in here because I can see the cards that are coming out. So Red Guide's advice is to look broader, look bigger, extend your view, climb higher and look further. Maybe, okay, what you are dreaming about here, maybe dream bigger even. Okay, maybe even dream bigger because there's a change coming. Okay, this is your outcome. There is a shift coming here in your world. And <clears throat> I'm hearing Spirit God saying, whatever you're believing at this time about yourself. So if you are believing that you are stuck in this energy where you'll forever be solving problems and not really going to where you want to go, you've got a lot of the problems that you're dealing with. If you're believing that at this moment when the judgment takes place, it's almost like you're going to get your weight here. Your soul will be weighed up here by this by this judgment energy. And it's like whatever they put into that scale will then be what you move into. So Spirit Guide's letting you know at this moment in time, you better climb up a bit higher there. And you better look really far and expand your view very big and dream the bigger dream. Because when this change takes place, that's the energy that's going to be weighed up. And that's what you're going to be moving into. So look into the wildest dream. And look into how, how big do you think you can grow? How amazing do you think your life could be? How expensive do you think your life can grow into? And keep that vision when this change, change takes place. And then that is what you will move into. Okay. Maybe you're going to even go higher than the King of Wands. Maybe an emperor energy is waiting for you here. That's high success. There we go. Thank you so much. That is beautiful. Virgo. Yeah, some changes coming here. Um, it's definitely a fated situation because it's judgment card. I feel like 
you're going to step into a new life. Make sure the life you step into is the one you want to step into. So look at the highest possibilities and not what's going wrong right now. Look really far ahead of you, where you want to be in five years from now, and hold that vision when this change takes place. Okay. There we go, Virgo. Thank you so much for being here in this reading. I hope you are doing great on this Monday morning or Tuesday morning. I will send my love to you guys and I will see you guys next time. Let me get into this Libra. How are you doing, my beautiful, wonderful Libras? How are you doing? Let's see what's going on with you today. Monday and Tuesday, that 23rd to the 24th, let's find out what energy comes up for you. You got the same vibe as a Virgo and I just shuffled that deck. You have a choice to make as well. Um, a direction guardian comes in, choose your path. Let's get more information. I'm so curious to see. If you've got a Virgo placement anywhere in your chart, please go watch the Virgo reading. Okay, because um, it just came up now. I'm curious to see what is going on with you and your energy. Choose your path. I, I'm just going to say I'm hearing Spirit Guide say some things, and I want to say it first before I take out the tarot, tarot cards. I'm hearing Spirit Guide saying a little bit of a, not like fed up energy. I'm fed up. You know, I'm tired now. I'm done now. You may be walking away from something that's not working for you here. Okay. It's like you're going, I, I, I'm, I'm choosing my path. I think I'm, I think I'm going that way. <laughs> you know, I think I'm, I'm not staying where I am anymore. I almost feel like you've already chosen to do this. Okay. So let's have a look and see. We have got the hangman. You've been waiting to make this decision. You're in a place where you don't want to be in. You're somewhere where things aren't going the way you want it to go. And the hangman means you're kind of, I feel like you've been putting off making a decision here with the hangman. It's like in your heart, you know, you got to go, you know, in your heart, you know, this is not where I want to be. Oh no, this is not where I want to be. But you've been holding off for making this decision because you may be hoping things will come right or everything. Maybe I don't have to go that route, you know what I mean? But it seems to me like you're going to end up making a decision here. Okay. I mean, holding back from doing it. I understand why you want to make it. The Queen of Wands comes in here. This is usually a way of being. Okay. All the queens would be how you feel in your life. Okay. Um, meaning you feel the Queen of Cups, you feel loved or you are love, you know. And um, the Queen of Wands is you feel fabulous. <laughs> you know, you feel great. You feel like you're living a life worth living. There's your Queen of Cups. I'm living a life worth living. Queen of Cups, Queen of Wands. That would be her. I'm confident. I go for what I want. I'm I'm living my best, the best possible version of who I can be. And I feel like this is where you're not. Because this is your situation. It's like you have this person inside of you that you want to become. That you want to have. You want to feel. And then it's like you can't. You're not getting it where you are because you're not comfortable here. Um, you dream about things a certain way and you kind of like holding back, hoping that things may change and it happens where you are. Okay, so let's have a look and see what Spirit Guide will advise you. The Emperor rocks up here. The Emperor rocks up here. They're looking at you at your best version of you. This is the best version of who you can be. And they're going, you can become this person. Don't sell yourself short. Don't think that you don't have the power. You, you have all the power. You're one decision away from taking back your power. And I feel like for some of you guys, this can also represent a person in your life here yeah, that's very cold and in control of you, can be like a boss, even a manipulative partner, to be honest. Um, and it's almost like this person... I is in competition. I'm hearing Spirit Guide talking about so many different things. If this is like a boss or a co-worker, somebody in charge of you, even a relationship, it's like this person is in competing with you here. They see your potential and it threatens them. And so they try to keep you down here and they could maybe try to uh, break you down so that you don't become a threat to them. Okay, your potential is a lot here and this is a threat to this person. And they actually letting you know with this card coming up here as well that you actually can become in control of your own life. You can become empowered and you can, can become the best version of who you are dreaming about being. Okay. Your outcome is to move forward. Your outcome is to move forward. It is to expand your life, is to look forward into the 
tomorrow energy. It's to see how you can expand your life and literally become who it is you want to be. No holding back. We're noticing that her back is turned to us, okay? That means she may turn her back on something here and move in a what? A new direction. It's like see from a higher perspective. Pull away from something and look at the potential of who you can become. Because if you do that, I feel like your life's about to move into a very positive place here. And um, very positive energy. The three of wands always means life expansion, which is extremely positive. And you have this here. If you do something here, I feel like don't hold back any longer. Be who you are supposed to be. Become who you are meant to be. And don't let anybody stop you from being that. No one has a right to manipulate you and control you and change your soul. You are meant to blossom into this version of yourself. That's why you came here. And now it is time to do so. And no other person cannot tell you, you can't do this, you can't do that, you can't do this. They have no right over you. That's an illusion. You have to take back your power here. It will move you into this new reality. You will love it. Okay, there we go, Libra. I hope this really helps and guides you and lets you make a decision about maybe changing your direction. Um, this life is meant to be fun. This life is meant to be exciting, an adventure, fun. You go out there, you're supposed to breathe fire. You're supposed to swim in water. You're supposed to uh, climb mountains. You're supposed to be your quirky, silly self who makes mistakes, who says the wrong thing. That's part of who you are. And you shouldn't be walking on eggshells around anybody. You should be breaking eggshells and dancing on top of them as your perfect, broken, upside down, amazing, beautiful, quirky self. And not feel guilty for that. And you have your own potential wanting to show up here. And I feel like you should just go for it. Okay, Libra, thank you so much for being here. Scorpio, how are you doing? Are you being impatient? Okay, because I couldn't even shuffle, shuffle, finish. And we've got this popping up here for you. Very interesting. I don't know how you feel about this card rocking up here. Water Guardian. Okay, it says you connect with your emotions, Scorpio. Like, could you be falling in love or could you be having to maybe face emotions inside of you that you're going, I don't want to face those emotions. Scorpio, I don't know. Whenever I think of your energy, I always pick up that you guys can, and this is the thing, what I can pick up from your energy. And it's not from astrology. This is from doing the tarot readings and I read your zodiac sign. I feel like you can be sometimes have a very big front, you know, with regards to how strong you can be and how no nonsense you can be and all those kinds of things. But I know inside of Scorpio, somewhere here, you know, somewhere, I have to, we have to look, you know, there's this heart and it can be a marshmallow heart. It can be very soft and it can be very emotional. And I think sometimes when these emotions do come up inside of you, it even scares you, you know, it even makes you feel like, oh, it's overwhelming. I don't want to feel that right now. And so sometimes you guys can try to push it down. But I got this feeling like something is going on with your emotions here. Yeah. So let's find out what this is. Oh my goodness, what's happening here? Emotions are not bad. Roll with it, you know what I mean? Don't worry. <laughs> it's it's what it is. So you're holding back from something here. This is my stalk up card this week. What is going on with the collective energy? Holding back, waiting for something to happen, holding back emotion. Oh my goodness, what is going on here? This would be not connecting with your emotions. I would rather hang upside down with my one leg tied up and my hands tied behind my back than face my emotions. Thank you, Deborah. You know what I mean? Can't stay there forever. Got a two of swords here. What's going on here, Scorpio? Two of swords is like, I don't want to see. I don't want to know. And I don't want to talk about this. There could also be somebody here who may be cutting communication. Okay. The Knight of Pentacles is coming in yet. Something is going very slow here. A very slow kind of movement, very slow energy forward. Um, I, I don't know. I feel like, honest to be honest with you, I want to get one more card. I feel like for some of you guys out there, I feel like you're, you're dealing with a broken heart. I will be honest with you. But you're kind of like denying that your heart got broken. And it's almost like you're going business as usual. Business as usual. Um, it's like, 
you could be holding back from somebody here, not wanting to speak to them. You can also, you're not only holding back from somebody, you're also uh, denying feelings. It's almost like you go, I never loved them. <sighs> they, should, they would wish that I would love them. You know what I mean? But deep down, you're maybe hurt here. I almost feel like I'm hearing spirit guide go, business as usual, business as usual. I'm not dealing with this. You know what I mean? I'm going to go to work every day and I'm going to go to work every day and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to be a robot. You know, I'm an AI, you know? The outcome card is magician here. I do feel like for some of you guys, you're it's you're hiding emotion with regards to something that's ended here. Yeah, the Eight of Swords. I, I wanted to double check, you know. Yes, I feel like if it's not your reading, then you would know. But there's something here that didn't go right. And I feel like you immediately pulled away from this and you just held back your energy. But I feel like you shut down everything, you know. And you're moving forward here. And as you're moving forward, yes, you're focusing on business as usual. Everything's fine. I'm good. I'm very good. How are you doing? You know, very professional kind of energy. But I feel like when they're asking you to connect with your emotions here, don't be too unconnected as you are moving forward with regards to what you want to feel in your life. Because if you kind of go, ah, business as usual, no emotions for me. Thank you very much. I'm doing very good. You're always manifesting. You're always manifesting by your actions, by your words, by your thoughts, by your belief. And be careful what it is you're going to manifest here. Because if you're going, I don't need emotion. The universe is not going to give you emotion. I'm guilty of this as well. Okay, I'm so busy with business as usual. I'm running around doing the things that I need to do. And I'm always manifesting one thing or the other. And sometimes I forget the emotional part of stuff. Not that I don't love my children and my cats, you know what I mean? But what about connecting to other people? What about finding that love of your life, you see? What about finding the person who will love you? Don't forget to add that into what you're trying to manifest. And don't be afraid that if you ask for that, you're not going to get it. You get everything you ask for. You're going to ask for something that will make you happy. Somebody that will come in and make you happy. Somebody that will care about who you are somebody that will understand you so also put that into onto your table of manifestation there remember there is a cup there as well there's not just pentacles and swords and wands there's a cup there as well which is this water energy showing that also manifest something here where you will have love manifest something where you will be happy manifest something where you will be in joy as well and not just the work and the money and the control and all that kind of stuff focus on a real balanced energy don't forget to manifest what your heart also wants and everybody wants love and sometimes when we get hurt we can shut shut down boom swords go closed you know what i mean and then we start holding back from all of that energy. Maybe Spirit Guide is also letting you know that something is coming in for you. And they're letting you know that there is love coming. Don't be too close to it. Because then you might miss it. And it could be one of the best things of your life that you are missing here. And that's why they want to let you know. Don't be too close to this. Because you never know what's around the corner. Oh my. There we go, Scorpio. I hope that helps you in some kind of way and guides you. Uh, I can relate, okay? Um, I can relate. I believe I, I'm, we must be open to whatever is available or whatever is, this world can offer us. The best version of who we can be is also including emotional stuff as well. There we go, Scorpio. I'm sending my love to you guys. You see, I am sending my love to you. I'll see you guys in your next daily reading or in your next long form content. Okay, there we go. Let me do this. Sagittarius, how are you doing? Welcome to Monday morning. How are you this Monday morning? It is bright and shiny, hopefully by you. Um, it is for the 23rd to the 24th of October. So Monday morning, is this a happy Monday morning? Do you have Monday blues or not? Comment below. Otherwise, let's get into this for you. Great teacher has rocked up in your reading. 
Oh, this has been coming up. This kind of energy has been coming up quite a bit in your past couple of readings. Have you noticed? If you have been here before, welcome back one more time. It's so great you have here one more time. And if it's your first time, thank you so much for being here. My name is Deborah. Okay. So um, if you've been checking your past couple of readings, all right, we've got the great teacher coming up here. And it says grow or, or learn from your spiritual experiences. And this has kind of been coming up. A lot of like hierophant lessons being learned, um, spiritual growth, understanding. And I think a lot of you guys out there are beginning to understand because you have this ninth house energy, which falls into that spiritual, that spiritual energy. You're beginning to understand that life is not only about going to work and coming home and trying to make the bacon you know what i mean it's also about you, you know sometimes you're not going to get it right something has to happen inside of you for outside things to happen and i feel like you're looking back at your life and you're beginning to understand a lot of how things have been working and you it's almost like you're having this real spiritual awakening let's see a card is sticking out so i can't deny this card let's see you got a five of wands rocking up here you're dealing with a lot of things now and i think this is your spiritual awakening energy when we see here learn from spiritual experiences it's like there you are dealing with something dealing with life dealing with people dealing with problems and everybody's trying to get you that prize up there of that what is that called? Um, piñata. Okay, we don't have this in my country, but I think sometimes in speciality stores they sell them. It's not a thing though. But everybody's trying to hit that piñata over there and try to get what's in that inside of it. And it's like maybe you tried many times as well to get the prize and problems are on your way. There's competition. There's a lot of people hitting each other with sticks over there as well because they, they're blindfolded. That would, be, that would be quite painful. I'm just saying. Are they blindfolded? They're supposed to be, isn't it? So it's a lot of problems that you're dealing with. But all these problems, all the things that you have gone through has been your spiritual growth. It has been, I always look at problems like initiations. <laughs> I don't go, this is a problem. Oh, it's an initiation. Oh, well, okay. And what happens when you initiate? You initiate, initiation, I don't know in other countries, but in my own country, the Sangomas go through initiations and certain spiritual people around the globe as well. They'll go through like initiation levels. And every time they, they level up to the next initiation, they have to go through trials and tribulations, you know, um, to now initiate to the next level. And it always, whenever a problem comes up for me, I'm always like, Oh, it's initiation time. Good. I'm about to level up. Okay. And this makes me excited to face whatever problems are there. And I go through them. I fix those things and I keep going because I know on the other side, I'm one step higher than where I have been. So this is important. So let's get in here. Justice comes up in your reading as well. This is such a good reading with justice coming in here. And I feel like the lessons that you have been learning, if it comes up with justice here, there's been a lot of karma that you've been carrying here. There's been a lot of karma. These are the spiritual lessons you're learning and it's tied to the justice card. It's an indication of a lot of karmic uh, things that you've been working on. I have picked this up in your readings before. Almost like you entered into this world <laughs> with quite a baggage, quite a heavy bag on your back. And you chose that, I'm sorry to say. Not you, the personality, but the soul inside that's quietly listening to what I'm saying. And the soul goes... Yes, I did. And the personality goes, what were you thinking? You know, it's like we have multiple personalities right inside of us. And this energy is showing that something is now paid in full. This has come up for you before, I swear. It's paid in full. The scales of justice have been righted. And now it's time for you to move into a new way of being, a new start. Where you move into your dharma, not your karma anymore. Um, if anybody out there is dealing with anything legal, because I remember um, in some of my memberships as well, I remember um, it was somebody, I can't, I'm not going to say your name, okay? But I remember you were dealing with something legal and it's been dragging a while. Um, that will unfold in your favor, okay? For my member out there, you know who you are, okay? And they will look at you coming up in your reading. Do the Spirit Guides advice. You are here, Queen of Wands energy. This is who you need to become. This is where you need to put your focus. This is where you want to be. Queen of Wands, so aligned with the Sagittarius energy. This is a bold, confident, 
excited, outspoken, um, really just living your life here, living your life as the Queen of Wands, building new life, creating new ways of being. This is so exciting. And for you, this matches with you perfectly. Just experiencing life like this. And this comes after the judgment. The judgment, the justice. It comes after justice. It comes like finally you've released these things. Even I'm noticing, even the great teacher energy, obviously being Jesus, he's releasing the dove. It's like finally something has been released from you as well. And now you can move into who you are truly meant to be. Beautiful reading. Yes, a big change is taking place for you. And still another one comes. Uh huh. Another one is coming here. We've got a justice with a death card. We've got two changes. Already something is changing. And something else is still going to change for you as well. Where the money flow begins. I just grabbed from the top. Oh, where the money flow begins here. Yeah. Those are the two cards under the deck. Where money flow begins to flow. After the death card. First change happens, you let something go karmically, then you move into who you are meant to be with that queen of wands there. Then another shift takes place in your life. This one is the biggest shift of all. The death card being Scorpio's energy, it is the biggest shift of all. And this is when your flow into abundance moves towards you. This is beautiful. Sagittarius, I love this reading so much. This is long-term financial stability for you here it doesn't get taken away again it remains with you this is beautiful Sagittarius thank you so much for being here in this reading I will see you guys in your next daily reading or in the Sagittarius reading that I just published for you guys I think like maybe before this one the day before please do go check it out it's a very exciting reading thank you for being here Saggy I'm sending my love to you guys as I always do bye Let's get into this for Capricorn. Capricorn, how are you doing? Welcome into your daily reading for Monday and Tuesday, which is going to be the 23rd and the 24th of October. So let's get into this for my Sagittarius out there. Excuse me, my Capricorns out there. Okay, let's go. Capricorn, what have we got going on here with you? Oracle. Okay, interesting. Wait for important information. Oracle, coming from an oracle deck, an oracle message. Wait for important information to be revealed to you. Okay, what is this important information? Interesting energy. What is the important information that needs to be revealed to you? Show me, Spirit Guide, where is this lying in Capricorn's world? Something you could be waiting for information already. A message an outcome to a situation, information coming in, giving you an idea about what's going on. But let's find out what's going on here. Okay, it's coming in so fast. It's now. <laughs> it's now. <laughs> it's now. Okay. Um, the Knight of Swords is a speed energy. When this information comes in, there's some kind of, there's something you have to do. Um, there's some kind of action that you have to take here with the Knight of Swords. Because the Knight of Swords, it's all about moving very quickly and moving, having a exact like idea about the next steps that you need to take. It's almost like you're implementing the next steps and you've got to be very quick and very precise about it. Um, it's like you don't have time to think clearly here. It's almost like you're going, I have to do this right now. And you just go. You just go and do it. There's no time to stop and daydream about it or stop and think, am I doing the right thing? Nope. This is action movement happening here. Justice card. Something is changing very rapidly. And this is definitely what you want. The justice card comes up here. It's definitely what you want. Because it means something negative is ending. And we're a Libra in your reading as well. Something negative is ending and you're moving where you want to be. It's like, it's like justice is coming in here. It's ending something, okay? And they give you the sword. And now you must move quickly forward. Interesting. Let's see what else will come up here for you. We have got the King of Pentacles. You're moving towards some kind of stability here. Some kind of stability here. You're moving towards, I love King of Pentacles for Capricorn. King of Pentacles for Capricorn is like where you want to be. It is you moving to exactly a place where you want to be. I feel like you are going to be moving towards stability. And also maybe into a place of leadership as well. Maybe a business owner, 
uh, manager, um, owning your own home, whatever this is, it's like long-term stability, long-term stability. Let's see what else will come up here. And it is fated for you. This is in your future. This is where you've always meant to go. This is the path you have always meant to walk. Something is coming in here that I think it's meant for you. This is meant for you. You've got a wheel of fortune coming in, which is destiny, fate, timing, um, unfolding, divine order, everything. And it's coming in here after an ending in a difficult time in your life. You're moving rapidly towards who you were always meant to be. The wheel Capricorn is about to turn. Be ready. Okay, there we go. Thank you so much Capricorn for being here. I hope this helps and guides you in your reading. Get yourself ready. Whatever happens here, if you need to make rapid movements or rapid decisions, make that decision but move forward okay there we go thank you so much capricorn let's go into aquarius aquarius welcome to monday morning or tuesday morning depending on when you're getting this reading i hope you guys are good on monday okay let's get into this for you guys the monday and the tuesday which is the 23rd and the 24th of october let's see what's going on with aquarius in today's readings earth guardian Hmm. Okay, I'm hearing Spirit Guide immediately so when I saw this and I want to try to speak. I hear them say, "Stay, uh, uh, put all your focus right now into being stable, into your finances, into your growth, into long-term stability. Look really far ahead. Interesting energy. It does say stay rooted. I'm Earth Guardian. Stay rooted and grounded. Really asking you to look at... Um, your stability, really your stability here, especially your career, your your home. What is it that is going to be long-term that's going to help you to be growing here? Help you to get into this abundant energy. Help you to get into flourishing and thriving energy here. It needs to be stable. If there's anything in your life that is very un unstable, very unbalanced in some kind of way, um, you're going to have to think about what you're going to do about that, okay? You're going to have to look at the stuff that's stable for you, all right? So let's get in here and have a look and see. Interesting. Okay, a card has just remained. I tried to put it in the deck and it flipped out, so we're going to take it. Whatever this is, is coming towards you very quickly. There's a lot of events taking place here. Um, this Eight of Wands is not a bad card. It depends on what comes up around this card. This can be... An event taking place very very quickly or it can be a lot of events taking place very quickly one thing after the other okay it can also be um a lot of things going on around you but in what context is that so we need to have a look at the other cards that come up around it it usually means to speed up everything this is my stalker card today justice card has come up like in so many people's readings there is endings coming in here there is changes coming in here. There could be legal situations here that are going to come abruptly to an end. Okay, very abruptly to an end here. So let's have a look and see. There's also something changing if it's not legal. It's almost like something coming very quickly to an end. Okay, let's have a look and see. Spirit guides, uh, advice is look at the heart. If it is not worth, I, I'm hearing them saying it's not worth to stay here. It's not worth it to remain in the Three of Swords. If something comes to an end here, yeah, it could be to heal you. I'm even noticing the Earth Guardian. He's really got his hand on his heart over there. And it's almost like he's going, I'm healing my heart here. There could be endings coming in here to heal you, to move you forward into a long-term stable situation where you're going to be happy. So let's see what goes on here. Yes, there's a new beginning for you. There is a new beginning. I'm hearing Spirit God say a healed new beginning. A new beginning where you're going to move into a time where it is about you where it is about you being happy where it is about you moving into a better time this is very quickly coming towards you very quickly you do have a new beginning and i feel as if you're leaving that behind i feel as if you're leaving a lot of pain a lot of hurt a lot of betrayal coming in here way behind you and this is what the justice card is cutting out 
it is cutting out something that's not meant for you any longer and it is moving you towards a new beginning where you can finally be like grounded be in this earth energy be rooted you know almost like you're going to be coming very stable i'm seeing how this vine is starting to curl around the cup there it's like it's holding onto that cup for you making sure that your happiness in the future is that grounded energy Oh, okay, this is a beautiful reading. Whatever this is, if it's something that needs to be let go of, I feel like look at what's stable and what is not stable and rather move towards the stability energy and move away from this lack of stability or pain. Okay, there we go. Aquarius, thank you so much for being here. I hope this helps and I hope it guides you as you're going through the rest of your week. Otherwise, let's get into this for my Pisces. Pisces, how are you doing? Welcome into this reading for the 23rd to the 20th. 4th of October. I'm not, can you not remember the day after the 23rd, Deborah? Really? But anyway, Pisces, let's get into this. So, Monday and Tuesday, how are you guys doing on this either Monday morning or Tuesday morning? I hope you are doing very well. Let's find out what will come up from the Oracle and Tarot for you today. Ooh, we got spring. Okay, a lot of you guys who are in the Northern Hemisphere are in. Um, autumn or fall at this moment in time we in my country which is South Africa and the whole of the southern hemisphere all my Australian people New Zealand people we're in spring currently right now so spring energy is not only about a specific time of year it's about the effort that you put in at this time and what you will get back from it in the future because when spring comes this is when we all go plant our seeds Okay, so I'm feeling like it talks about the effort that you're putting into something right now that you're going to get rewarded with this later. Okay, so this is interesting. I know in my own garden, I've got the grapevine. So um, every, when it hits like um, August, I begin to see those little buds starting to show, you know, and in September, by now, it's like October. Oh my goodness, the whole grapevines are huge outside. And you can see the little grapes as well. They're there hiding among the leaves. And by the time it hits December, we're going to be eating those grapes. And it's like you have to go through this process of nurturing it and checking if it's still okay, make sure it's healthy, all those kind of things like that to harvest the fruit. And I feel like that's kind of like what you're doing now. It's like you've planted seeds for your future here. You may not be seeing the results. You're not yet harvesting that because it is still... Um, uh, in that energy of becoming so you've got to keep on working on it because you're going to reap the rewards here somewhere along the line so let's see in your energy queen of pentacles definitely focusing on financial abundance here stability it's in your energy queen of pentacles shows up as long-term stability and feeling happy about it as well feeling happy that you're nurturing and building a life here where you are financially stable and strong career-wise can also come in as having a a career where maybe you got highly educated to do what you're doing and because you had that edu education behind you it's like the experience behind you no one can take it away from you it's real stable energy your situation <laughs> love the screens rocking up for you the queen of cups you're following your heart you're not only looking hey you're not only looking at like the money you're looking at both you're looking at happiness and money together and I, i'm just remembering this old saying and I grew up hearing this. I grew up saying, even myself, I used to say this proudly, where I used to say, if I had to choose, did you ever say this, between happiness and money, I would always choose happiness. That is such a propaganda lie that was taught to us. I don't know where it came from, which person thought that one up, but that is such a lie. You can have both. If I had to choose, in other words, what are you trying to say? Are you trying to say that the people who choose money, they won't have happiness? Is that it? It's not like that. We can choose both. We get limited. We get taught from very small, you know, by life that we have options. And you can't have both. You can only have one. You can't have five. You can only have two. You can't be this big in your life. You can only go that big. You come from a poor family, so you must remain in a poor family. All of that is hogwash. It is not true. You can have happiness and you can have money. And I feel like that is what you're going for. Yes, you can. If money was such a bad thing that didn't give you happiness, why are all the rich people fighting to hold on to the money? Okay. 
Why is it that they say money brings you, money is evil, yet money can pay for your hospital bills, money can give you a place to live, money can feed your children, why is it evil? We need to rethink about how we feel about money, okay? And the King of Pentacles, you're reading. Holy moly, you've got a huge amount of abundance coming in for you here. Rethink all that. Money's not evil. Money's not bad. You know what's evil and bad? People. Okay. <laughs> People who don't want you to have that. If money was so bad, nobody would want it. Okay? It's not like that. Let's see. Two of Swords. Yeah, I believe there's something here in your energy um, that you need to rethink right now about how you feel about money. The two of swords is like a negative energy. It's closed with regards to the financial abundance. And it's almost like you're going, I want money, but I'm not going to let it change who I am. I want to be a rich person. But there's something that's ingrained from here from a small age. Let me see what's going on under the deck here. Yeah, the four of swords. It's almost like it's something that was taught to you that maybe made you a little bit fearful of money in some kind of way. Money destroys people. Money, um, people destroy themselves. They, you know, this is the thing. We look at people who get a lot of money and we notice that they go and maybe their life gets really messed up. You know, it's all over celebrities, whatever. We see it every day. And this is my thing. There's also other people who get a lot of money and their life is not messed up. Their life is amazing. It's not about the money. It's just the person in general. Um, they, If they had no money, their life would still be messed up. You see? So it's not about the money. In fact, money is just an energy. It's what people decide to do with that money. And I feel like almost like it's time to contemplate here. It's kind of time to sort of like think about what you're really believing about money here. What are you really believing? Is it the root of all evil with those three swords? Is it something that I need to protect myself from, that money can be dangerous? Or is it something like she's holding, she's sleeping with a sword there, and she's going, maybe money's not going to be good for me? Sometimes our deep-held beliefs about money um, from childhood can prevent us actually from having it come in. So we keep on putting the hard work in to create this abundance. But at the same time, when you meet people, they ask you how you're doing. And you go like, yeah. And they ask you, how's business going? And you go, oh, money is the root of all evil. Hey, what must we say? Oh, okay. Money goes, oh, okay. And I'm not going there then because they think I'm evil. So I'll just stay away. So it doesn't matter how much effort you're putting in. If you cannot get it right in the energy of the mind, which translates to the energy of the mouth, which translates to the energy of action and vibration, it's not going to come your way. You have to turn what you believe about money around. Take back your power. You can take back your power by changing what you believe about something. You take back your power by saying rich people are all evil, yet everybody wants to become a rich person. So are we all evil? No. You want to be able to fix your car when it's broken down, take your children to the doctor when they need it, feed them the right clothing, the right clothing, feed them the right food that they need, um, take care of yourself. You want to be able to live in a house where you feel safe and it's clean and the environment is where you want to be. Is that wrong? It is not wrong. Rethink what you think about money because I feel like it's about to rock up in your life. Let it flow the way it wants to. Be open to this energy. Think of money like a person. For me, money is, we would call money spirit of money. Um, there's a lot of spiritual energies here and they take on an embodiment of something. And spirit of money would be like an entity. Okay. If I speak badly about this, if I'm your friend and all I say to you is that you're evil and you're bad and you hurt people and you destroy lives and you do all these things, would you be my friend? No. Okay. You, I would, you would not be my friend. If I said to you, you're a great person. I love you so much. I know you love me back. We are such good friends. You're such a good person. You do such good in this world. Oh, wow. You're amazing. Would you be my friend? Duh. Obviously, yes. Money is the same. <laughs> Money is the same. It's either going to get pushed away by you or it's going to get pulled towards you. Right now, it's moving towards you. With all this energy, make sure you change how you feel about it. Otherwise, you can end up blocking that flow from coming towards you. Rethink how you feel about it. And start to say words and think thoughts that are of positive energy. And the emotion of that will follow that energy as it goes along. 
money does amazing things. It does absolutely amazing things. People can be so um, in this energy of like hatred for rich people. Um, sometimes they'll see bad things happen to a rich person and go, yeah, one more, one more rich person we don't have to worry about. But they don't know that rich person what they were doing. They could have been helping so many people. They could have been giving so much to charity. They could have been doing so many things that you don't even know about that person. And now that they're gone, there could be many people without work. Many families now who don't have a job anymore because maybe they had a business. So you have to look at it differently. Um, you can become a person who aligns with this energy and maybe even help others as well in their own lives. You can change lives with this. It's not a negative thing. Ugh, there we go, Pisces. Thank you for listening to that. I hope it changes how you're thinking a little bit and maybe even clears up something in your mind about maybe why sometimes money doesn't want to do what it's supposed to do. Become friends with it, okay? And it will become your friend as well. There we go. I'm sending my love to you, Pisces. I will see you guys in your next all zodiac sign reading or in your next daily reading, which is your all sign, or your next long form reading. Bye-bye, <laughs> Pisces. Bye. -bye, Pisces. Bye.